Welcome back, guys, to The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass, where you join me on the Isle of the Dead. Yes, we're here and hoping not to see any re-deads, not to see any Gyptos, nothing like that, but we're hoping to examine these riddles further, or at least find out exactly what they allude to. So with that said, the main notebook told us to go all the way up to the top here, to the pyramid. So let's get going, let's get going indeed. Ah, let's not get going! Don't you suck me in! Da! Ah, arrows go! Arrows go! Arrows go! Three arrows to take you out? Let's throw a bomb at you now! Whoa! Okay then, we got ruby lilacs all around. Worse than... Stalfos, that's for sure. Hello, guy! Nice to see you. Well, we do have some kind of undead thing coming around. Here rest the six sages to whom the way to the temple is known. Those who do not know will never pass the phantom corridor. Ooh, spooky, okay. But still, Isle of the Dead. If we press any enemy, however, we will destroy it in quick time. Unless it hops away like a ton like that. Nice hopping, sir, but you're getting defeated all the same by my violent slashes. Right, so can we walk up here? It looks like there was a ramp or some steps or something, but a switch up on high. No monster coming out. Oh, yes! Yeah, okay, it's a rupee on the ground. I really shouldn't walk towards that, so gung-ho. Yeah, take a bomb. And a suspicious tree. With nothing really suspicious gained from digging under it. Why does the path lead to it? Hmm. Actually, what kind of path is this? It's just like a T. Well, maybe that alluded to somewhere in the riddles, but hello! I'm glad I jumped ya. Ow, I actually got hit by that one. And there's more over here. Oh, actually, the head's the target we're after, so there we go, all defeated. It seems, but we're at the pyramid. So let's go inside. Find out what's going on. Hello, um, farewell. Avidazen, adieu. Hello, batty friends, after all. The sacred tree grows from the king's chin. West 13 and north 7. So that tree on the chin? Okay, west 13, 13 and north 7. You telling me somewhere to dig or something? West 13, north 7. Let's not get those numbers mixed up again, hey? The path to the graveyard where the six sages dwell hidden underground. Okay then. The resting place of the fourth knight, Brant of the Cobble Kingdom. Phantom corridor ahead. Those without the weight of the six sages are doomed. Okay, Isle of the Dead, stop hamming it up. We've got ourselves a code. And that code is most interesting. So let's get moving. Treasure chest up on high. Ah, so this is what the... Oh, whoa, whoa, oh, I didn't mean to jump off there. Whoop, that's a bit of a perspective muddle, that's for sure. This is actually some kind of ruler. So West 13 would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and then North 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so here. And a hole is ours! Well, where do we bring ourselves now? Well, I can bash a hole straight through there. It's kind of going, hey! Knock me down! And I'll do that, but there's a path over- Ow! Here as well, with boulders galore. Who needs actual enemies when you've got boulders of randomness? Whoa, 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 dodge, do ow! We're going up the boulder path. We're not going down it. Come on! Where is this leading to? Don't tell me back to where the I bombed the wall. Or something like that. Well, there's a way up here. I'm confused. Uh, let's head towards the boulder some... Oh, wow. Some more he says, but to be honest, there's nothing there. And what did I blow up? Hmm, I'm gonna have to go back to actually check. 
I thought I'd make a pathway upwards then, but... Ow! The boulders are coming this way as well! Ow! I should put on the... Do you know what? This is the time, isn't it? Is it courage or is it... No, it's wisdom! Put you on and gain some extra defences here. Because these boulders are horrible. So what did I even blow up in the end? Well, I definitely want to check out here, but... And I say but strongly? We know we're going to get ambushed. Face west from the king's eye and shoot an arrow. Well, that's where the switch is, yeah? So why would I need to know anything more than that? All the same, we got ourselves a power gem for going back. I kind of went forward way too much, didn't I? I don't know about you, but I still can't trust these rupees. But there we go. All taken. I'll have that extra cash. West from the king's eye and shoot an arrow, you say. I'm just going to go like this. An arrow and it's west facing, so we're all cool. Let's run through the horrible place again. Ow. Only a quarter heart lost. I guess you can cut your losses and just cut. Even when I try to dodge, it's terrible. If I could really roll or like, for example, in the old Zeldas, just dodge from side to side, it'd be a lot easier to dodge these. That's for sure. Well, let's head upwards. Maybe change back. Or a lovely dealy damage o Right, so west from the king's eye, you say? Well, uh, first of all, I'll take a treasure map, that's for sure, in this quadrant as well. All seem to be up there. Apart well, from that, you just want me to shoot an arrow from here? It's not hard to do, but to be honest, getting a little bit closer would be a lot of a better option. And the door up there opens. Right, jump down and let's get moving. I kind of do need some more arrows now. Only eight left. Okay, we're into this section. What is going on here? What's going on down there, actually? I'm even trying to see if I can get over. I am the fourth sage. Go north through the fourth room. Okay. So we're going to get a combination, are we? I'll put that as fourth. I am the third sage. Go east through the third room. Uh oh. Just wondering here, but that book mentioned something before about directions being different or something, so now I'm really worried. I'm the second sage. Go east through the second room. That's fine by me. How many rooms are there, actually? I'm the first sage, go north for the first room. So up, right, right, up. And friendly friends are jumping out. Most of the words have been worn off and can't be read. Well, that's not handy. Most of the words have been worn off and can't be read. That's also not handy. I'm the fifth sage, go north for the fifth room. Seems to be a very two-directional combination. I'm the sixth age. The sixth room is where Brant was laid to rest, so six is goal. Most of the words have been worn off and can't be read. Right, so we've explored this graveyard. We're we missing a grave. Coastal erosion or something? No, we're not. But all the same, we've got ourselves another code here. I'm going to put a circle which says, hey, we're here. Let's see about maybe getting over into that bit. Can we? Well, nothing to grab older. Unless you look at that, maybe? No. I can't ping myself between the trees. I like how my fairy's so worried about the skeleton, though. But if the six age is where it ends, then we should be able to find the complete route. So does this count as the first room? That's the question. Well, we went north there. Who knew it would come to this? My name is McNay. Aha, you wrote the book, sir. I was once a famous explorer. 
I entered before solving the entrance puzzle and came to the Phantom Corridor. But I could not get out, and look what happened. This maze is madness. But if you don't know which way to go, you'll end up walking in circles. Circles. If I keep going down, I should be able to reach the entrance. If you haven't solved the puzzle yet, find the entrance while you can. Otherwise, you'll end up like me and run out of energy. Before you're able to find the exit, curse to remain here forever. I hope not, but I hope it's right here. Does this count as the first room or not? Well, we'll go right. This is McNay again. If I keep going down, I should be able to reach the entrance. It's the same guy. Well, I'm a bit confused if we keep seeing him. That's very confusing. He's always going to be in the center, is he? Well, this is the right code. Nicely done. A bit worried there for a moment, but still, we made it. And what do we fight? Oh, whoa, whoa. This is where the dead of the Cobble Cob Kingdom long ago fallen laid rest. I'm the Cobble Cob Kingdom ghost. I am one of four knights chosen by the king. I am the fourth knight, Brant. Those spirits you have with you, they have power, wisdom, and courage, yes? Why are the free spirits of the Ocean King with you? I could say secret. I can't believe what has happened to the Ocean King while we slept. So that is why you were looking for the Aquanine. We grew rich under the Ocean King's protection. We must do something. I believe that our King Muto has the Aquanine that you were looking for. If you explain your quest, you may convince him to give it to you. Venture forth through the door. Find my me, sir. I'm glad that I got to write more on the map again, though. I love map puzzles, it's cool. But where are we? Back into the central area. I'm guessing we might be able to hook shot back using the Skellington, maybe? Or grappling hook back, but what we're gonna take is a regal necklace. This mysterious necklace is adorned with curious gems. Hello, ghosty. King Muto, the holder of the Aquanine, is not here. He is on the island that is guarded by a rock wall, the Isle of Ruins. You will need that regal necklace to get there. That will calm the cyclone at the entrance so that your boat may pass. There, look for the third knight, Brimure. Got it? Sure. Go now. I must return to my slumber. Ooh, at least go with a bit of a woo, a bit of mystery. Come on, sir. But no, no way to easily jump over unless I'm really high up. Oh, that is exactly how it is. So with all that done, I guess the only thing to do is head off the island. Whoa, looks like you did it. How about we said sell? I'm sure about that. Let's go. The Isle of the Dead was an incredibly short visit. Well, I do wonder if there was any kind of extra treasures hidden around. Still for now, ooh, fishy, fishy, fishy. I think I'll go look for you. We have no way to warp around after all. I'm going to have to change the route already, because he's going to be a lot lower than where I aimed. And I just remembered. Ah! The ships! The ships! They're going to spot me. Alright, see if I can plot a closer and downward course there. I'm getting away from them is a real good thing right now. Well, we've got tons of treasures to find. Jolene's coming up on us quite fast. But we are close enough to fish. Let's see if we can get anything nice, eh? Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. And hit I will. But that one started jumping early as well. Very early indeed. Build it up, build it up. Let go, build it up. It's probably another skippy jack considering how easy it is to kind of reel in at the moment, but all the same, I can't really get myself up higher than this that fast. I don't want to get anywhere near danger. Whoa, let go. It's gotta be another skippy jack. You know what I want it to be? I want it to be the man fish. I want it to be the fish from Wind Waker. That would be amazing. Oh, that's Beetle. What am I doing? And another Skippy Jack is ours. A little bit bigger this time. 
still didn't put up much of a struggle, did it? Right, shall we go check out up there? Because of course there's a secret aisle on top of everything. And I'm pretty sure Jolene's going to cut us off if we go low. So another pirate battle will begin. And I can destroy their bombs if I'm a good shot. But most importantly, I want one of these guys to be gone. Sooner rather than later, and so he is. You're never going to get me from here. I'm well on my way, don't you know? And I'm out of range. Phew. Well, more fish are appearing, and an isle. Aha! So the books were right, they say. The books were right indeed. Enemy sighted. Where's this time? Up in the air. Up. There we go. Farmed jet. I'm going to have to get a little bit lower for me to poke you in the eye, but it seems that going near this isle has warded you away a little bit. All the same, though. Line back. Line back. There we go, Ciela! Line back. Just notice it, sir. Look there, that island is marked on our chart, Solis. And it looks like we can dock there. There, just added the old to your chart. Why not set a course for it? Another isle to find, you say? Well, I don't mind if I do. What secrets will be found here? And will Jolene reach us? No. A nice way to give it a slip, uh, Maze Island. Well, that is a maze. I agree with the original stating of the fact of the name. Fascinating island, don't you think, kid? I love the open sea. There's always another surprise on the horizon just waiting to be found. I'm sure. What's going on here? Well, we've got ourselves another boing man. Treasure Maze Hall of Fame, currently blank. Boing oing. Boing oing. Welcome to the treasure maze! Shall we get started or do you need to hear the rules? What are the rules? The goal is to whack all my buddies with your sword before time runs out. Okay. You'll win if you can grab the treasure that appears after you hit them all. The maze has three levels of difficulty which ramps up with each victory. Try to complete all three levels with whatever items you may have at hand. Emerge victorious from all three to get your name put on that Hall of Fame stone. Well then, shall we start? Sure. Got it, your challenge level is... Beginner! 20 rupees per try, sure. Well then, without further ado, let's get underway of a beginner level. Lots of mini games, eh? Four of my buddies will pop up. Hit the switch to start the challenge. Am I gonna mark these buddies down or something? I'm trying to hit the switch, but it's not letting me. There we go. Let me mark them. Marked. Marked, marked, marked. Well, let's get traveling. Right, so we got a timer. That's never good. And ways to get across places. Open up bridges, but I'm not really sure I need to go that way right now. After all, it's more about running this way. One hit. First is done. Farewell to you, I'll just randomly stab myself, it's fine. Jump over here. Hmm. Seems like coming down will not be that bad, because I can get round to this guy quite fast. Considering he's stuck in just a normal maze complex, but the second one's done. Right, so we'll go in this way, be okay. Time is getting shorter, possibly? I'm not too liking the sound of that, there's a treasure chest there at random. Ah, but now we face a problem. While there might be a treasure chest there, can we get over the water here? The answer to that seems to be no. Right! A long way back round then! Ah! Run at full speed! Because that one's a horrible one to get to! So can we get over the water here? We can lower the spikes there, but... Ah! 
Well, that helps us get around that area a bit. It doesn't really help us get forward any more than that. Okay, with that one gone... Uh, that timer sounds donezo. Oh, and I went the wrong way! Boy, you your time's up! Ah! What an annoying route to go through. Stop by if you ever feel up to the challenge again. Well, we'll do that next episode, guys. We're a winning attempt for this maze. Join me next time on Phantom Hourglass. I'll see you around. Bye-bye.